Good morning or afternoon YouTube and here are your optimal FanDuel cash lineups for Friday, March 4th, 2016. My projections are on the last video and you'll be able to see my recommended cash lineup for a moment at the end of when I do all the other optimals before I move on to the GPP. If you're interested in why I chose the players that I did for my, my cash lineup, just watch my last video. Okay, so first up, let's go on to Roto Grinders. Let me zoom in here. This is going to take a little work, guys. Sorry, give me a moment. And let's zoom this puppy in. There we go. All right. I don't think I got all of it in there yet. Give me just one second, guys. I'm going to pull it out just a second. You guys got to be able to see everything. Otherwise, you know, yeah, you got them to the center at the bottom there. All right, that should fix that up. Let's get this zoomed in for you. All right, looks pretty good. And I think you guys can see everything there. So the center might be a little cut at the bottom, but that's all good. All right, so Roto Grinders. They have for us at Power Point Guard, Lilliard and Russell. At Shock Guard, We've got Wade and Oladipo. At small forward, we have James and Winslow. At power forward, we have Parker and Turner. And at center, we have Len tonight. And Roto Grinders is projecting this to score a 313. So next up, let's go on to Roto Wire. Roto Wire has for us at point guard, Teague and Russell. At shot guard, they have Barton and Booker. At small forward, they have James and Tucker. At power forward, they have Millsap and Porzingis. And at center, they have Brooke Lopez. Okay, and they are projecting this to score a 288. Personally, guys, you see that $100 remaining at the top there? With Brooke Lopez at $8,500, I would be swapping Lopez out for Whiteside every single day of the week. Um, it could be done. But anyways, that's their ideal. Okay, so going on, this is Fantasy Pros now. And Fantasy Pros has a very interesting lineup. At the point guard, you can see it's punt both ways with Mack and Pressy. And then shot guard DeRozan and Batum. Small forward, James and George. Power forward, Favors and Millsap. And then center, Jefferson. I mean, other than the point guards at the top being complete punts, I mean, the rest of the lineup looks good. But again, why would you put Jefferson in down there when you can take Len? Personally, that would be my swap. Uh, Fantasy Pros is projecting this to score a 289. Okay, finally, we're going to Daily Fantasy Cafe. And Daily Fantasy Hat Cafe has for us at point guard Rubio and Mac, at shot guard DeRozan and Barton, at small forward James and George, at power forward Millsap and Teletovic, and at center Len. And you can kind of see where the popular choices are. Okay, real fast, I'll just pull my cash lineup up so you guys can review that briefly. That's what I did. Uh, point guard, Drajic Kanan. Shot guard, Depot and Barton. Small forward, James and Ante Toko Mboko. Uh, power forward, Millsap and Parker. And center, Len. Okay, and I just it's just a review. If you want my descriptions, go back to the other video. I'm projecting this to score 308. And so now, on to my sample GPP for today. And it's a strange day for GPP in that there aren't any 10 grand players out there, really. There's just not. Unless you want to count Wall and James in the group of, you know, at 9,800. Um, well, I usually recommend a balanced strategy for a cash game and a stars and scrubs strategy for a tournament or a GPP. Today, I think that having the exact right balance is what's going to win all the cash. You'll need punts that are, you know, going to get put, that'll pay, they'll get their time, while grabbing as many higher priced guys that you can with killer matchups and lots of court time. So with that all in mind, this is the sample I threw together. At point guard, I have Kylie Irving and Russell. Irving has the Wizards today, which on its own would be enough to play him. But the news that Kevin Love is out today makes this a must-be-in-my-GPP lineup kind of guy today. 
Russell, uh, D'Angelo has been tearing things up for the Lakers lately, and he's starting to look like the mini heir apparent to Kobe. Uh, looks like the Mamba is going to rest again tonight, so I'm going to be all over Russell tonight in GPP because he's just his usage is amazing when Kobe's not in. All right, at shot guard, I've got Wade and Oladipo. Wade is playing the Sixers tonight, and we kind of all know what that means for fantasy. He's probably going to get more of a ceiling performance today than a floor performance tonight, as long as he gets his 33 minutes on the court, right? He should, barring an injury or something. Depot, well, he just became a quote-unquote worse play with the news that Fournier would be returning into the lineup today. But that's just the right kind of guy to grab on a GPP, guys. Someone that others are dropping off of when his case really hasn't changed all that much. He's not losing minutes. I mean, he's still going to get the same amount, basically. And he's still playing the Suns. All right, so at small forward, I've got King James and Covington. James is a great cash play. But he became a must-play cash or GPP as soon as Love went out. His usage isn't going to bump a ton, but the guy that was projected to score 51 is now projected to score 57. And I will eat up that hopeful six times value all day long. Um, Covington is more of the GPP play here because, you know, he can be a bit inconsistent. That's kind of the point of a GPP, right? I mean, <laughs> okay, so look at his minutes and his scoring. And then you look at Matt Barnes, 100 bucks cheaper, you know, compare him to Covington. And then you tell me who you'd rather take tonight, even with Covington playing the slow-ass Miami Heat. It's a good opponent for him, and even if the pace isn't what we would like, it's a GPP. All right, so on power forward, I have Millsap and Thompson. Millsap was the easy GPP call. There's always a couple big guys that perform, and since I'm rather certain James is going to be one of them tonight, I love Millsap to be the other one against the Lakers. This game isn't going to be a blowout like most Laker games, and that makes it especially attractive. And we're going to round out with Thompson. Tristan's back, name's back in the GPP because he's about to get starting minutes tonight with Love taking the day off. So I'll take the chance for 35 points easily against those hapless Wizards. Basically, I'm all over a Cleveland triple stack today for my GPP sample. Okay, and we're going to round out the lineup with Len. I wrote him up in cash, so but there's just nothing wrong with this guy and using him when use the guy that's going to score the most points for the salary at the position in GPP that's not bad even if he doesn't have a huge ceiling he doesn't have a bad floor either and I've got enough plays out there that are kind of floating all around the place okay that's my sample GPP lineup for today I'll be running it I'll be running my optimal cash lineup I'm gonna put that one up again because honestly I think that one's a little more important guys really should be paying attention to the cash more than anything And there it is. And um, they, all the other optimals will get run today as well. And I'll post all the results for everything, either tonight or early tomorrow morning. Also, real fast, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be posting a couple California Lottery Scratcher videos sometime today. I don't do them too often anymore, and so DFS fans, you can simply ignore them if you want. But I do have a few people that are interested in doing, me doing a few more, so I wanted to get those out to them. Okay, um, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe for notices on future videos, and definitely follow me on Twitter at MikeMiller78 if you're interested in late-breaking news, injuries, lineup changes, that sort of thing. If you don't have Twitter and you play DFS, you are missing out. All right, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Go out there and go win some money.